What's going on my fellow troops, my name is Ovo and welcome back to a brand new video and honestly, I didn't think I'd be recording this kind of video today. I, I really don't want to set the mood uh, really low because honestly, this video will be coming out on the 19th of August, which is my birthday. So, you know, I would appreciate if you left me a happy birthday. Don't feel that you have to, but of course, if you want to, I, I'd really appreciate that. But I, I really don't want to set the mood low for this video because I want it to be a good day. I want to see light at this seemingly dark tunnel. At the end of it all, I don't think it's possible because this has got to be one of the worst, the single-handed worst events has ever occurred in Warzone. Forget what I said about Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, that was an atrocity in itself. Um, not only was it not clearly, it was completely misleading in itself. I mean, it was supposed to be a versus. It said Kong versus Godzilla and nothing actually happened that entailed a fight or a versus. Um, but not only was that complete fucking garbage, at least there was something pertaining to the fucking branding. Um, I know this is called Titanium Trials Endurance, so not anywhere in the title does it actually mention Terminator. But it doesn't take an Einstein to look at the event and see that it clearly is showing most of the rewards in the theme of Terminator. You look at the store when the things were scheduled to come out, you know, the Terminator bundles, and you look at when the event dropped. It wasn't too long after those came out in the store. And of course, as you look on the actual event, most of the camos are kind of themed around titanium, steel, and shit like that. And they've got the whole Terminator sort of coding and stream shit coming down the screen. And the whole thing was set up for Terminator. Even if they want to fall back and just blatantly pretend that it was never Terminator in the, in the event that someone's throwing accusations at them of misleading and uh, letting them down with a poor fucking event. You know, if they want to fall back on that, they really can't because they even made their shitty cuts scenes at the start of the game very much Terminator themed and they even made a specific one for people who owned the T-800 or the T-1000 skins out of the store which are Terminator bundles. Can I just say, uh, I was expecting today's video to be me uh, being like, hey, it's the 19th and I've managed to finish this event already and unlock everything by the 19th and there's a good week before it ends so I'll review the camos and everybody gets to get an, an insight to what's good about the camos. At this end, I don't really see a win in sight. I have two out of four of those wins and even that in itself has utterly just taken my breath away. I am actually surprised in itself. I even managed two wins in the same day and this was like three, four days ago, keeping in mind. This last four days has been nothing but agony, playing the same shit over on repeat for four consecutive days and I've done nothing but moan, rage, piss my family off and it's probably made me uh, grow a few grey hairs, but honestly, no, it's absolute fucking garbage, this event, and it, there's nothing about this that I would ever want to re-experience all over again in the future. Never would I want to experience this event again. This video didn't turn out to be what it was. Uh, those two wins, they were sheerly luck. Either that or my teams were actually good on that day. I don't know what happened since then. I don't know what fucking experiment went wrong with skill-based matchmaking or crossplay, but it's been nothing but doom ever since. I've had a few fair matches where I've had some pretty good players, but uh, they usually leave the moment they basically get sweated on by other sweats or they never play another match uh, with you because they don't give a fuck and they're just selfish. But aside that, um, this event has been nothing but AIDS. And let me go into this because I think I haven't really made it very clear. So we were talking about how shit Godzilla versus Kong event was. It was misleading. It was very lame, underwhelming, and clearly not much thought went into it. Either that or the engine didn't have the capabilities to show two of them fighting on the map. Uh, like Fortnite, for example, uh, but this is worse because in this event, it's literally just Caldera Battle Royale plastered as a completely different event. And you want to know the difference with this Titanium Trials? All it actually is, in Laban's terms, is Battle Royale, but there's a few changes to prices of the buy station. Uh, you get slower regen of health and it takes longer to kill enemies. That's it. 
I don't think there's anything else more alarming. Oh, okay, my bad. They added all the different weapons from Modern Warfare, Cold War, and Vanguard on the fucking ground loot. Fair enough. But that's it. It's not anything wild in any sort of retrospective. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing eyebrow-raising or, you know, dick-erecting. Okay, I'm going a bit far there. My bad. <laughs> But you get the point. It's nothing exaggerated. It's nothing fantastic or creative. It's just Battle Royale slapped out as another event. And that is not the worst part. It's the challenges. The fucking challenges for this event are absolutely obnoxious. They are just absolutely disgusting. Like, they are literally trying to savor every last juice out of the players that they can. They know this game is nothing but a sweat-fested fucking dead piece of shit. The game is dying because it's so sweaty. Caldera is a fucking awful map. I I'm not gonna say it's completely bad compared to Verdansk. Verdansk was a great map, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of memories on it, but fundamentally Verdansk was pretty damn bad with just all the height advantages, people camping in buildings, uh, it's just, it was a mess, but this is not any better. Uh, so for anyone to put this on, on, on a pedestal over Verdansk, just get the fuck out of here, please. But yeah, this is not a good map. Uh, there's many reasons to why this game is dying or most people deem it dead in their own per perception, I suppose, but um, that is one of the worst points about this. This game is so dead, they are trying to squeeze every last chance that they can get for players to jump on this game, they can slap some sort of crossover with whatever brand they managed to partner up with, in this case it was Terminator 2, and uh, yeah, because of that, they think we're going to get a bunch of players hopping on this dead piece of junk and they're going to play the living shit out of it for the next two weeks and you know how we're going to really make the catch so it gets them stuck on this uh we're not just going to put out 20 dollar or 20 pound bundles like they do every damn time with these skins uh, they go the extra mile and they say, well, we'll make it so that if you want to finish the eight challenges on the event, you've got to get four wins and before I get to the worst part, and this is obviously optional, but it's it's really hilarious if you've not heard this part. Uh, but before we get to that, um, the average player can't even get one win, never mind four. I don't know what crack the developers were sniffing when they designed this event, whether they thought this was actually a good idea or not. I don't know how this actually sort of passed their brain and just sort of went from pen and paper to actual physicality. I don't know how it happened. What player do you think is getting four wins in two weeks? Like, what? Even the most cracked out insane pub stomping sweat that has come from Vanguard probably can't achieve four wins in Caldera Warzone Battle Royale in two weeks. It's just, it's unheard of. We're not fucking Tim the Tap Man. We're not, you know, Optic Scump. We're not anything of a sort. The average player would rather it say, get one win. That would be enough. That would be enough as a challenge for Titanium Trials. I get it. Titanium Trials is supposed to be sweaty. It's supposed to be difficult. It's supposed to be for good players. But come on, one win is enough. You don't need to make us do two, never mind four. That was the worst part. So you've got to get four wins. The other challenges, they're a breeze. I mean, to be honest, the reviving people, that kind of became a bit of a hassle, but I got it done eventually and as for the one takedown super easy i can't remember what the other ones were um because my brain has actually melted from playing this shit every day but what i'm saying is the worst part was actually doing the wins and i'm saying that like as if i've done it yet and i haven't i've still got the fucking six out of eight on this and i don't feel like i'm ever going to finish it because well it's it's just not looking good but um that's not the worst part the worst part I was going to get to is the secret challenges. So there's a bunch of challenges you can get over the next amount of wins you get after fourth. So if you get the fifth win or you get a sixth win or a tenth win, you can get all these other secret little shitty rewards that no one really cares about. In in hindsight, it's literally just like a, a what do you call it, a calling card title. Like the ones you see underneath your title, it's literally like um, Godzilla, King or some shit or Big Cheese. 
uh, those little quirky captions you have under your calling card. Or you could unlock some uh, shitty emblem or something. Um, but that's not the worst one. There is a reward, a third and final camo uh, that you can get for 20 wins. Yes, you heard me correctly. Uh, Tim the Tapman speaking here. 20 wins. That's piss easy, guys. Come on. Um, 20 wins for a calling card that pretty much moves. It's the one that you get for... It's basically the same as the other ones you got for like the first, second, and third win in this event, the normal rewards, but except it's moving and it has like thousands of those fucking metal robots in the background. So not only if you want to get a, a fully moving version of this calling card, you've got to get 20 wins, but on top of that, you get a camo, and this camo is called Skynet. Now, let me just say what the biggest controversial part about this is, in my opinion. The actual main event reward that you unlock for four wins and all the other challenges, the other, you know, the eight challenges in total, that event uh, completionist bonus is a moving camo called Liquid Metal. It is a reactive camo that moves. And the first one you get in there for like one takedown, that's a sort of silvery camo, looks a lot like Modern Warfare 2019 Platinum, but it's just hella dusty. But the third camo, this is where it's actually laughable. It's not 3D, it's not animated and really snazzy and cool. It's a generic Vanguard looking <laughs> blueprint camo that's just silver with a few red streaks through it and it looks like a copy paste camo in the style of most vanguard camos it looks so fucking goofy like anyone who actually walks around with that and says hey look at me i got the skynet camo bro touch some grass this shit is not even fucking cool to brag about. Hell, I would rather brag that I have obsidian on one weapon than brag that I have a camo like this on every weapon in Vanguard for 20 wins. It is so fucking bad. It looks like a preschooler could have drawn a better camo than this. I'm not even being funny. It's so bad. Like, it generally doesn't look worth the reward. You would think they would make the 20 win challenge be the moving liquid camo and this would be the garbage final completionist camo for the event but no uh, that's the biggest ripoff of it all uh, is just you know spend two weeks absolutely busting your fucking vessels in your head to get this shit camo for 20 wins whoop whoop raven you did us proud but yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Raven has failed this game since Infinity Ward let it to them. Um, it has become nothing but a piece of shit that has just been eaten up by Raven, the bunch of dogs. They've eaten this crappy game up to the last bitter beast with the bone left, and now the game is dead. That is literally all it is. And, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I hate Raven. These are the same people who fucking blocked me on my personal Twitter. You guys wouldn't know this because I quit my YouTube Twitter like two years ago, maybe a year ago. I made a video about that. But my personal Twitter, I was blocked by them during Pride Month when I took the living piss out of them and every other company that puts this propaganda out on their socials. But yeah, so Raven has a bunch of rampant snowflakes behind their Twitter uh, who did ban me about how many months ago so i mean it doesn't surprise me these guys are pretty much terrible all around they have ruined warzone they give us really wacky lame events like this uh titanium trials is nothing but a ball stomp of pain uh, i don't want to play this ever again and i'm probably going to carry on playing after this video uh if i even do consider to manage to unlock these final two wins and get this shitty camo i could always review it but hey i've probably already shown them in this video for reference to show you how fucking laughable the rewards are um so i mean hey it doesn't look like there'd be much point and then again six more days doesn't even seem enough to get two more wins this shit is just like fighting over a bone between a bunch of rabid dogs no one is gonna win unless you're literally the sweatiest upon sweatiest of gamers unless you just camp out in the gas the entire game which is very risky so it's not a fun event not worth the time i, I would generally say this is one of the worst events i've ever seen in warzone it has been it's just it's literally killed me inside the only slim bit of amusement i have gotten out of this is when i've gotten to the point of insanity Sanity where I can just laugh. I'm so in pain that I'm just laughing. Like, that is how over the top this shit has driven me to trying to play it consecutive from 
the middle of the day when I've woken up to fucking midnight. I've had no fun with this shit. It's boring as fuck. I make stupid class setups and all this for this event and still nothing prevails. If anything, I get killed and all the sweats get to drip their balls over my class setup and pick up my atomic weapons and use it to advantage to win yet their 20th win. So it's absolutely obnoxious. It's better to just leave their dying game to rot. Um, but yeah, so whoever's idea it was for, to make these challenges is a Muppet. They should go get some help, uh, maybe fix their game. And um, yeah, I, I just I have not enjoyed this in the slightest. And I'm really sorry to anyone who hasn't enjoyed it either. So sorry I've rammed on for a very long time. As you can tell, this has really pissed me off. Uh, it's really got my gears grinding. And I just want to enjoy my birthday now. I, I don't have any plans. If I do finish, I don't know. I, I won't force myself. But, um, yeah. So that's that. Um, anyway, other than that, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash a like on this video. It really means a lot. It goes a long way. And it lets me know you enjoyed the video. And it lets YouTube know the video is enjoyed by the audience, which is really, really appreciated on this channel. And, uh, yeah, other than that, if you've watched this far without skipping any parts of the video, be sure to comment down below 18, because that's how old I am today. And I guess we need to end it on a high note. So <laughs> I'm a big boy now. Time to be serious. I'm joking, guys. Just don't feel pressured. It, it, you can be a kid as long as you want. Anyway, other than that, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.